Warning, you're only going to do this if you're a serious tennis player. Why? Because it's difficult. I did some training years ago with a buddy of mine who's now a Navy SEAL. I can't tell you who he is, but one of the things he mentioned to me is that the importance of getting high knees when you do training. It helps your footwork, it's harder to do, and it helps you build up your speed and your quickness at the same time. So without getting too technical, what we're going to do, you got the hurdles right here. So I'm going to go over the hurdles, two feet inside. I'm going to step out. And I'm going to shadow a swing. I'm going to recover. Two more steps through the hurdles, come out, and do another swing. Now you say, well, when am I ever going to have to take my knees up that high? That's the point here, that you make your training tougher than your match situations. All right? So I'm just going to do about half speed. If you don't have hurdles, that's fine. You can do it without the hurdles. You just visualize that you got hurdles or you're stepping over something. So it looks kind of like this. All right, now when you do this, it doesn't matter if when you uh, go over the hurdles, if you go out and you want to go open stance, you can do that. Practice the open stance. You could also do a neutral stance. Step in this way. It does not matter. The main thing is that you're popping those feet and you're pushing yourself, all right? Next time, not only am I gonna bring the hurdles, I'll bring the footwork ladder and have some fun with that too, all right? Earn your victories. Have a great day.